for the 650 million people said to be at risk of contracting schistosomiasis, the simple act of bathing can lead to chronic illness, even death. The tiny waterborne parasites burrow through the skin, reach adulthood and lay eggs inside their human host. Now, after four years of work, decoding the DNA of the most widespread of the parasites, Schistosoma mansoni, researchers at the University of Maryland are looking for ways to beat it. Professor Najib Al Sayed helped to lead the transatlantic project, which had teams in the US and the UK. He says he's hopeful that the research will open the door to new treatments, perhaps even a vaccine. Essentially, you have a catalogue of opportunities uh, that you can pick and choose from and, uh, and pursue in the lab with more directed studies. Further studies have already produced what Professor Al Sayed describes as some very promising leads. We were able to identify several drugs that are used in humans for other purposes that may potentially work against the parasite in theory. And that's very important because being able to repurpose drugs uh, uh, is a very cost-effective strategy. So far, a cheap drug called praziquantel has been used. Although the drug's effective, it does not prevent a person from becoming reinfected. The human host. John Rogers works at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, which helped to fund the genetic research. He warns that having just a single treatment option poses potential risks. The problem any time that you have a single drug is that the likelihood of resistance increases enormously. So there is a risk out there, a potential risk, of resistance to this drug. If that arose, you would have no treatment for schistosomiasis. Professor El Sayed and others involved in decoding the genome want to see public-private partnerships formed to build on the work they've done. Certainly investment from, uh, uh, from, from governments, uh, from ministries of health, and of course from, from, from private entities that hopefully we can convince that uh, we've uh, done most of the work and now the last step is up to them. Even with the work done here at the University of Maryland and elsewhere, scientists caution that it's too early to say how soon a new drug might come along. On the brighter side, the kind of state-of-the-art technology used to work on the genome is making the process faster and cheaper and that holds the promise that a cure may come sooner rather than later. Malcolm Brown, VOA News, College Park, Maryland.